<sighs> what up, Luke? <laughs> uh, shout out to my boy Luke, aka Double A Pipe Man. Um, he been throwing jabs at me about my beloved Chicago White Sox because you're a Cubs fan. I know you said you're a baseball fan. I get that, but you've been throwing shots at me. And then this last video that you put up there, I just had to come up on here. Don't forget, I have enough time now. I'm on staycation. I'll come back real quick. But anyway, that was just a quick jab to my boy Luke. Uh, if you haven't followed his channel, please follow his channel. He just, he just started making videos uh, for the YTPC and they're getting better and better at time so if you get a chance please follow his follow his channel uh, he reminds me and I have to agree with my boy June Bud, an individual from the 60s uh, he looks like he he looks like he from the show what was the show Mad Men and I should know the show because my wife watch it every day now and I think uh, her boyfriend is John Hamm aka Don Draper <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, he gave me that vibe that uh, madman vibe so like I said follow his channel uh, just joke making uh, poker fun at you bro um, since I'm on and he I watched his last video yeah, I'm just going to piggyback off what he said. You know, we're dealing with the pandemic, with the coronavirus. I, don't, I forgot what the official name of the virus is. And, uh, yeah, it's hit, I think it hit us as a nation, as a, as, as a uh, universe, uh, universally hit us, and we didn't expect it. But just like anything in, the, in, in history, uh, I think we jumped on it. We did what we had to do, shutting down everything, uh, sporting events, uh, arenas, uh, where you had big population on these events. I think they did the right thing. I have no, I love sports. Um, I have any sports to watch and I have no problem with that. I, I fill my time up with reading books, making videos, smoking pipes, hanging out with the family uh, more, a little bit more. But we had to do what we got to do. We got to get this under control. And uh, I think if we stay cautious, white, wash our hands, I think the, learn, the, the curve will be a little bit more level and we get this under control. We know we got to take care of our elderly. I think they're, they're, the more, they're more affected by this than any, anything so. And uh, we're going to do our part on, in this household because my wife, my beautiful wife, she's a health freak, health nut, and a little bit of a germaphobe. So uh, she, and she made a statement, which I totally agree. You know, Now I think people will wash their hands like they're supposed to be washing their hands in the first place because, believe me, there's people out there that will use the restroom and just walk out without even looking at the sink. And I, that gets on my nerves. Even at my job, I work in a warehouse. I know I work in a warehouse, but you still wash your damn hands when you're done using the washroom. Please. Anyway, I'm you know, we just gonna ride this out as an as a uh, as people on this planet, and everything's gonna be fine. Uh, like I said, I'm in the sports, and since I'm down here, I'm in my sports dungeon. I'm in my unfinished basement that I made pseudo finished. Uh, this is where I do all my sports videos for my for my channel. As you can see, I got my uh, green screen. I have a quality microphone. Oop, it just fell. Quality microphone right here. Uh, got a sound. Ah, I forgot what it's called. Got this little box here. Give me quality sound. Uh, hopefully, I can there you go. A foresight. Got what it's called right now, just growing a blank. Uh, computer screen, got me a whiteboard in the back. So, yeah, I'm set up for talking sports. Got a little, like I said, 
podcast going on. And since I'm down here, this is where I keep my, I know it's called a tobacco seller. And I, it is a seller, <laughs> uh, literally. I don't have a shelf to hold my tobacco. I got all my tobaccos in the bin for now, bins for now until uh, I get a shelf. But let me show you a little bit. Well, I'm gonna show you all my tobaccos real quick. They're in this bin here. These are the jars uh, right there of all the tobacco that I have. And underneath this bin, the black and yellow bin, I have my tin tobacco. I'm too lazy right now to open that up. But I promise you guys, I should have did it this week since I'm off. I will promise you guys, I will show you all the, all the uh, I'll make a video showing my tobacco sellers, showing you all the stuff that I have. Um, that's about it. I do have some shout outs, but I left them upstairs. My, my new subscribers, I will make them in the next video. But I just had to come up on here and poke fun at my buddy, uh, Luke from AA Pipe Man. Not smoking the uh, smoking the bowl today because I just finished smoking a cigar. I was going to go to the lounge, the cigar lounge today, but with all the stuff going on and everything, canceling, I don't even know if they open now, number one. Number two, I just want to stay on the safe side. I just went in my garage and had me a nice little smoke watching YouTube video, watching YouTube videos and relaxing. So, <clears throat> sorry, didn't have a bowl, uh, but I showed you a little tobacco, so that, cause that's basically uh, tobacco related. Anyway, I'm about to get off real quick. I just wanna get on poke fun. This your boy Glass. You are watching the Smoke Swag channel. Everybody out there, please be good, be safe, light them bowls. Talk to you later, Luke. All right, peace.